everybody, welcome to the Bedford Life and Company. My name is Alexis and today I'm gonna show you how to make chili. As if it wasn't easy enough, this recipe, I'm cooking it in a slow cooker, which is ridiculously easy. Anybody can make this recipe. You ready, Dad? Okay. If you're new to this channel, welcome. I would love if you could hit the subscribe button and the bell notifications so you can stay up to date with new recipes, product recommendations, and of course, new merchandise from The Bedford Life. Eventually I'll catch up with the time to get myself an Instant Pot, but I have to admit, I love slow cookers. I love them so much. I have two of them. I recently got this all clad as a gift. Look at it. It's so beautiful, it's so shiny. So shiny, I can see myself in it when I'm taking a picture. Let's give this baby a test drive. Put your aprons on and let's get started. One green bell pepper, 28 ounces of diced tomatoes. That's just like one of those big cans. Two cups of diced onions. This is a mild green pepper. I don't know the name of the pepper. I'll show it to you. I'll find out the name of it and leave it in the description box below. A half a cup of corn, a half a cup of black beans. These came from a can, just rinse them. Don't put like all the liquid from the can in the crock pot, just give them a good rinse. Four or five cloves of garlic, and I wanna zoom in on this. See that? To the right is salt, to the left is my homemade chili powder. Now chili with an E, not chili with an I, because chili powder with an I has a bunch of different ingredients. Chili powder with an E is just straight ground peppers. This stuff is so freaking hot, it's unbelievable. There's only an eighth of a teaspoon in there. It's, I can't even begin to tell you. If you wanna see how to make this, if you love things hot and spicy, check out my other video. I will leave a link in the description box below and a card at the end of the video. This is a half a teaspoon of salt. Let me zoom out. We have a teaspoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of white pepper, a tablespoon of tomato paste. That is a teaspoon of turmeric, a teaspoon of paprika, and a tablespoon of cumin. Now, if you wanted your chili vegetarian, you could just put everything in the crock pot from here, but that's not how I roll. I need meat. So I put about a pound and a half of ground beef in there. If you've seen any of my other videos, you know the two statements are definitely true. One, I absolutely love spicy food. So in this recipe, I have two ingredients that are quite spicy. If you don't like spicy food, you can leave them out. If you like mild, you can just reduce the amount that you're using in the recipe. And number two, I always say, use what you've got. There is nothing worse than going to make a recipe and realizing that you have a few missing ingredients. In most cases, substitute, make a substitution. If you had fresh tomatoes, you would need to compensate for the liquid that comes in the cans if you were using canned tomatoes. So in this case, there's about a half a cup of water in the can. Um, half of like tomato juice that's in the can. So if you're using fresh tomatoes, you'd have to compensate with a half a cup of water. Use my recipes as a guideline, but tweak them, make them your own. Let me know how you change this recipe in the comments section below. Did you use beef like I did? Did you use turkey? Did you use a combination of chicken and turkey and beef? Let me know, I'd love to hear how you make your chili. You don't wanna put the corn in in the beginning. It's very tender, it will like fall apart way too easily. So I actually didn't add the corn until about two hours before it was finished. Oops, I forgot to add water. I put out one cup of water in here, but you'll see at the end how I made a bit of a mistake. So wait till the end and then I'll show you how I fixed my issue. So I'm gonna set this batch at about 12 hours. My machine only goes up to eight hours. I put it on for eight, I came back in five hours, and then I ended up resetting it and turning it on for 
another seven hours or so. When the 12 hours was up, I took the lid off. It looks beautiful, but I did notice that there was a little bit too much liquid in. So because I used diced tomatoes that came in a can, they had liquid in them. I ended up adding one cup of water, but I really should have cut it down to half. So the way to remedy this problem is, I took the lid off and set the timer on high and left it running without the lid on for about an hour. This allowed some of the water to get out, some of the steam to escape, and it really thickened up that chili. Otherwise, it was a bit too watery for my, for my particular taste. When I woke up in the morning, my house smelled amazing. I'm not gonna lie, I actually had some for breakfast. And there you guys have it. I put it on top of a basmati rice with a sliced avocado, some shredded cheddar, and a big ol' heaping spoon of sour cream. You are going to need a big spoon because this is some hearty, chunky chili. Mmm, that's good. Delicious. Ooh, it's spicy, it's good. All right, guys, if you're looking for some more slow cooker and crock pot recipes, make sure you check out our playlist, and I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.